And the reason you can is because the government stays out of it. Thank you. Tonight's debate is to be on society is better off adopting a model of creation over the model of evolution, would be my contention. Robert's contention is that by doing so, that would possibly be an adoption of a religious perspective. And he and I would agree that government should not impose a religious belief on its citizenry. And that is the clear distinction between this society and all other cultures. He brought up Islam. And you must understand that Islam believes, as do all other religious beliefs outside of biblical Christianity, that you can change society by a set of rules. That you can do it externally. And so I would agree with, with Robert that government should not impose a religious perspective on its citizenry. It should not demand that you believe a certain religion. And I would contend that Christianity equals religious liberty. When Christianity is applied rightly, when Christianity is applied liberally throughout culture, when it is the basis for law, the basis for ethics, the basis for all that goes on in society, then you do have liberty. It is not a freedom from religion. It is the belief that Christianity makes and encourages liberty for all, even those who choose not to believe in the God of the Bible, not to believe in the Creator. In fact, the first instance that I, of which I'm aware, in which a leader encouraged liberty was Oliver Cromwell in his address to Parliament in 1634, 1654. Here's what he said. Is not liberty of conscience in religion a fundamental? So long as there is liberty of conscience for the supreme magistrate to exercise his conscience in erecting what form of church government he is satisfied he should set up, why should not he give it to others? Liberty of conscience is a natural right, and he that would have it ought to give it, having liberty to settle what he likes for the public. Indeed, that hath been one of the vanities of our contest. Every sect saith, Oh, give me liberty, but give him it, and to his power he will not yield it to anybody else. If I am correct, this is the first instance in which an official, a leader, someone in power, granted religious liberty to those with whom he disagreed and with whom he was actually fighting a war. You see, it was only because he understood the Bible. It's only because he understood that it's because of the Creator that men can have liberty that we can have peace and prosperity, that we can have goodwill, we can have debates such as this, it is because of the Creator. That is the only system that allows for such disagreement. It is not based on, as Robert suggested, the free will of every person. A society can only have freedom of conscience if you start with the basic presupposition that is because of the Creator, that each person has value and worth and therefore liberty for all. It is because of the Creator. Now, do I have two minutes? Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, I would say that it's correct 
to say it's for the creator if that's what you believe. I don't happen to believe it's based on the creator. I happen to believe liberty is a, an essential or should be an, it's, it's, a, it's an essential part of man. A man should be free to believe what he wants to believe or not believe. And I don't think you have to believe in a creator to believe in liberty. But I guess we could go around and around and around. This society is based on a secular premise. The Constitution reads, we the people, uh, with the consent of the governed, etc. It, it doesn't say anything about God. And the Constitution is, is my Bible. That's the Bible I believe in. I think it's a wonderful document that's often maligned by both religious and non-religious people. Uh, but the, the Constitution is based on the will of the people. And if you want to believe that the will of the people comes from a creator, you, you have a right to do that in this country. But if you don't believe that, then you have a right not to believe that. My answer is, I don't know. I don't think that it is, but I don't know. And I would add the, the one last comment that we have to be careful if we start talking about our rights being based on God, because that's the basis for theocracies. And theocracies historically have led to one religion. And the religion I think is most powerful in this country is Roman Catholicism. And I'm concerned about that. I'm concerned that, one, that if we go down this road where we believe that we have our rights in, based on the creator, that we're going to end up with a theocracy. Thank you. I guess I exceeded my two minutes. It's okay. Uh, before I begin, I would like to uh, express my gratitude to, uh, to Bob for accepting the challenge to be here this evening. He knew that he was walking into the uh, proverbial lion's den. Uh, and uh, 